Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is my tech corner of the internet. I want to do a quick video today about how you can add photographs to uh, assets if you're using the Homebox uh, inventory management software. It's a very, very nice piece of kit that can be hosted uh, anywhere that you can host Docker containers. I'm using my non Synology NAS. Uh, so I went around photographing yesterday, taking pics of kind of all the stuff that I want to record uh, in my apartment. Now I'm usually, I'm really focusing on doing this for organizing my tech stuff, but I figured that um, when we move apartment next, I think I moved apart, I've moved apartments six times in the last decade, it's always handy to have an inventory. So the photographs are good because you can just kind of quickly see what you're looking at. So let's take the soda stream at the center on the second uh, row here, and let's create an inventory item for it and we'll append the photograph. So I'm just using a demo location for the purpose of this demonstration. I'm gonna call it soda stream. And something I like about the Homebox UI, I like a lot of things about it, I think it's very uh, user friendly, is that if you're at a certain location, it's going to automatically pre-populate that as the parent location. So because I was on this demo location level of the system, that's popped up as my parent location. I can type an item description and I can type, type label. So I'm gonna create the item for SodaStream and it's going to be firstly assigned an uh, asset ID, which is always useful to know. And in order to add a photograph, I need to click on to edit. And then you need to undock, and this is basically the UI at the time I'm recording this, it could change. Right now you need to, you need to add advanced options, which I think is not, doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's the way it currently works. So you need to click show advanced view options, and then you're going to have this option to drag and drop files. And all you need to do then is just drag and drop. Now I'm gonna actually move this one off to the side to show you guys how this works. As you can see, you can categorize the attachment after you drag it. You can also uh, click to select files, but let's do drag and drop again. Now I've got my SodaStream photo and you can see I have the option to say it's a photo, it's a warranty, it's a manual, it's an attachment or a receipt so I can categorize. So I'm just gonna release it there. And this is lightning fast. This is the amazing thing about Homebox is it's super, super quick. And I'm gonna click on save and needless to say, uh, that's been saved. You can save multiple items in your um, in your inventory and then you can just kind of preview them like this. You can, you can download them. And as we saw yesterday in the video I did about backing up Homebox, these are all saved into a folder in the uh, in the volume data location. So if you wanna back it up, your photos are now in that location uh, on your server or on the NAS and they can be backed up. So I think it's safe to delete the originals. The nice thing about adding photographs to all the products in your inventory is it makes it easier, as you can see, just to browse through what you have. Uh, you can kind of see what they are. And if you search for something like SodaStream, right, it's going to come up um, and and you can see it, the, the image. So I think it's a nice little functionality. Um, I'm gonna be doing more videos as I get more into using this uh, software. Oh, I just wanna say one more thing in the, in the topic of adding photographs. <clears throat> you can add them through your phone as well. Uh, this is a screenshot I took using my Android. Uh, there isn't an Android app, but the mobile website is not bad at all. Uh, this is me using it on the Android and you can see at the bottom, how do I get down to it? Oh, I need to just kind of, yeah, there we go. Look, so you can uh, either take a photo directly from uh, your phone into the into the app, or you can browse for an image that's saved on your phone. So whether you want to do either or, uh, it is uh, pretty easy to add images directly from your phone as well. Hope that video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.